Hey everybody, welcome back today to Retro Tech, and I want to do a special little reminder and promotional episode pretty much for uh, one of the only expos that I regularly attend and uh, have an actual booth at. So this is my second year where I'll have a full-on Retro Tech booth, and this is at the Grand Ole Game Room Expo. It's coming up in exactly a month from November 8th to the 10th in 2019. And I'm going to just quickly go through uh, their website here and explain a little bit about what goes on at this specific expo or convention compared to maybe something else that you've done before. Because it's not specifically just for retro gaming or anything. However, that is a big part of it. And it's not a huge expo, but it's a good size where you can get around and just do pretty much everything you want. And uh, even if you're just going to be here for one day. So first, I just want to show some of the highlights here from the uh, website directly. And there will be a link to this website in the description uh, for the video. But you're going to have there's going to be hundreds of arcades set up in a ballroom. Uh, pretty much anything you can imagine uh, will have, there, there'll be an arcade for it. A lot of things that you might not have seen before and a lot of classic games you haven't seen in a long time. I can't remember how many machines there are exactly, but there's definitely going to be over um, 150 or 200 or more of just arcade machines. And every one of them, of course, is set up in free play mode. And one of the bigger things about this convention is their pinball presence. And um, they have lots of representatives from new pinball companies come in and they put on a huge show. I'm, I've not seen anywhere else that had such a grand scale show for pinball machines. So there's going to be hundreds of pinball machines and really new high tech pinball machines. I'll show you a couple of the things that I got some footage of from last year's show, but that's a big portion of it. And again, those will all be on free play. I'm just going to promote some tournaments down here, but they do have, they do come in and set up a modern uh, PC lab where they'll have a lot of popular PC games that are modern and current, and uh, as well as tournaments for modern gaming. Like, I believe they usually do some type of Street Fighter tournament. And then last year there was even like GoldenEye tournaments and things like that. So Saturday is the second day of the event. That's the ninth. And that's the day they do most of the tournaments on is the ninth. But you could check down here and see exactly what tournaments are available. Because they do give out prizes too. I mean, uh, decent prizes in case you if you win something. And of the retro gaming scene is big here too. The owner of this uh, convention... I've talked to him a few times. He has tons of CRTs, a warehouse full. He brings them all there, and he sets up every retro gaming system that uh, you could pretty much think of, all the way to 3DO and Atari Jaguars, and uh, probably even a CDI will be up on there, and maybe even a... I think I talked to him before about getting like Ataris, like even a 5200 setup. So uh, there are some highlights here from before, but this video that they have is actually old from 2016, and it's at a different event hall. So I won't show their video. I'll show you mine. But this one is at the Millennium Maxwell Hotel in Nashville. You still may be able to follow the links on here and get a decent package put together if you want to come in there. But see, there's over 200 arcade and pinball games. And a lot more things that are listed up here. Um, and this show is a lot of fun because it runs, uh, once it starts, it goes all the way to 2 a.m. on Friday and Saturday. And then, of course, there's a three-day pass, kids, uh, $20 discount for, you know, military and first responders. There's a picture of the hotel. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not the nicest uh, hotel in the Nashville area, and it's not even in like the major downtown area. It's in a different offshoot of town. Still a cool area that you can get to places really easily. I will tell you that if you do come and stay here, there are fast food restaurants around, but if you don't like fast food restaurants within like a mile of the hotel, and it's real easy to get to, there's uh, the Nashville Farmer's Market. And that has probably 30 restaurants of local eateries and breweries and barbecues. So if you really want to get some good food, it's right down the street from there. Uh, there's some more stuff about, you know, promotional items. So that's pretty much it for their website information that I wanted to go over. Uh, but 
the way that uh, the ballroom, and this is the hotel, but over to the left where this tree is, you can't see it, obviously, but that's where the ballroom halls are. It's on a different side, and uh, you just go in, you get your pass, and then our, our booths are actually outside the ballrooms. So if you happen to be in this area and you're like, look, I, I'd like to just come by and see the Retro Tech booth or talk to you, and you don't actually want to get sh tickets to the show and, and spend the money to have to come, you can come by the booths and uh, check them out because they are, again, outside of the ticket area. They're in the hallways surrounding the um, surrounding the, the actual paid areas where you go in and play games. So you can technically go in there and say hi. I'm going to tell you that when this show happens, again, I will have a booth and I'll be there from Friday. I'll be there from 4 a.m. to probably about 8 p.m. And then Saturday, I'll be 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then Sunday, I'm going to be there 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And if you want to come and to speak to me, your greatest opportunity is either going to be Friday evening uh, time after probably six or, and you know, even before that, Fridays are pretty slow. So Fridays, most of that night, you can come by and see me if I'm still there. And Sundays are slower too. So any of those times, it's, it's really good time to come by and chat with me about anything because I love talking to people if they have, you know, questions or just want to talk about uh, stuff like CRTs. And then Saturday is the crazy day, so it's not really a great day to try to come in and sit down and have a conversation with me because I'm going to be super busy until later on. So if it's after 6, you get a good chance then to come stop by and have a conversation. I'd love to talk to you. Uh, so that's pretty much it for that. And the rest of the video today, I want to show you some highlights from a video I made personally. And this was uh, about a year ago, 10 months not quite a year. So what I'm going to do is try to expand this a little bit and I'm going to just show you. Now this is this was when I was using a, a lower quality camera so you have to understand that. This is first the retro games room from last year and like I said I told you he told me he got even more stuff for this year. So a lot of chance to try out old gaming systems on of course wonderful CRTs and there are some flat screens for the more modern era consoles, but just all types of CRTs. There's a 3DO right there. And uh, <laughs> so that's a really cool part about it that uh, I like to show people is that they do have a retro room. Now, it is kind of a mess. When I went and recorded this, it was Sunday afternoon after the, you know, two hours before they were closing. So a lot of things had just been, you know, getting ready to be about closed down. Now, this is the main ballroom where they have... The center is just lined with pinball machines, classic pinball machines, a lot of great, uh, really cool machines. And then the outside is more covered with the standard stand-up arcade machines. And then you'll get some specialty, um, like you know, shooting games or racing games and other things like that um, around the sides. But again, just there's see, there's a racing game, Big Mother Truckers. Uh, just some really cool things uh, now and if you are local and want to bring a game machine you can even talk to this guy and he'll let you bring one and get a free pass for the weekend so that's always a cool idea that gets a lot of people to bring in their machines they also do a restoration competition which one year I hope to enter my Neo Geo and uh, once it's fully restored so this is just a closer look at some of these games uh, now, I wanted to show off, see, this was a, more of the corporate Marco over here had a whole display and flipping out these pinball manufacturing companies. And these were their high-end games that, you know, these are brand new, thousands of dollar uh, machines. They had a Deadpool game here and uh, just some more modern stuff. A lot of different style Deadpools were at this show. Uh, but... And then there was some um, Judas Priest and, you know, other 80s rock style games. Here's Iron Maiden. I'm sorry, that's what it was, Iron Maiden. So a lot of fun if you want to come in and enjoy uh, gaming, especially if you're anywhere close to Nashville and you want to come have a good time. Definitely consider checking this out. Again, November uh, 8th, 9th, and 10th are the dates. And um, you can come for one day and come all three days. If you definitely come, though, stop by and say hey and let me know that uh, you're there. I'm going to zip through a little bit more of this. And then 
This was actually my booth set up. Uh, you can see I had a couple of uh, lots of retro games, which you can expect. I'll have tons of retro games. I won't be having any card games this year, but lots of consoles, custom mods, a little bit of toys, but mostly retro video games and consoles and rare gaming items. And then I will, of course, bring a couple of monitors to set up and show off which is always fun to see people come and check out the high-end PVMs. I mean, these, these are all gone now, been sold, but uh, last year I had three PVMs and then I had the CRT that I RGB modded that I brought. But just come in and look for the RetroTech flags. I will be in the booth and happy to talk to you about anything. Um, and just let me know if you're coming and you can send me a message on this video or send me an email. Let me know you're going to be there again. Sundays, Fridays and Saturday evenings are going to be the best time to come by and have a have a conversation. So that's going to be it for today's video. I appreciate you watching. I hope to see you there. Please let me know again if you're going to be at the show. Otherwise, have a great week and I'll see you next time with some more retro content.